Hey Sloth Group, today is Thursday. I hope you've had a great week of learning so far. Today you're going to do all of your normal routine, including watching our social studies video, and then also getting creative with art or music. Let's look at your first sheet for today. The first one you have is box up antonyms. Now antonyms are words that mean the opposite. So like the opposite of happy would be sad. So you're going to be finding the opposite of each of these words here. Now this gave you a clue so you would know if you were right. If you go to write the word from the top up here, and it doesn't fit in the boxes where these are tall letters, these are regular letters, and these are drop down letters, then you know it's not the right one to go check it again. So if it doesn't fit in the boxes, try again. So the first one is real. What would be the opposite of real? Looking up here, I see the word fake. Fake would be the opposite of real. And then I know it is right because the F would fit in that tall box, A, K, E. That's my way of self-checking my work to make sure I'm right. So the opposite of real would be fake, okay? So you're gonna go through and try to figure out what's the opposite of each of these words here, okay? And then we also have this one. I think you're gonna really like this one. This is our fairy tale wanted poster. So you're going to read a book or a, a, that's a fairy tale, like Little Red Riding Hood or Cinderella. If you don't have a fairy tale book at home, I want you to get onto Epic. There are tons of fairy tale book options on there. You're going to then make a wanted poster for the bad guy from that book. So if I was doing like Little Red Riding Hood, I would draw the big bad wolf here. I'd make up some sort of reward for him, like how much money I'd give someone for catching him where we last saw him and why he's in trouble. He's in trouble for eating grandma. So he'd be wanted for the crime of eating Little Red Riding Hood's grandma. Okay, I hope you have fun with this one. I thought you guys really enjoy that. You guys also have a free write today where you're writing four or more sentences on the same topic. For today, I want you to try to do an informative writing piece. That's where you're just telling me information about something. It could be about whatever you want. It could be about the food in your cupboard. It could be about an animal that you like. It could really be about whatever you want. But try to write four or more sentences about that topic. And then you have some multiplication for zeros through threes. So in these problems, that means one of the numbers is going to be zero through three. The other one might be higher. If some of them seem tricky, it's okay if you need a little bit of help from your parents. But I know you guys are all getting really great at multiplication. And that's so amazing for my kindergartners that you guys are doing multiplication. I am so proud of how hard you're working. Your last thing you have today is places in our community. I want you to pick any place in our community that you enjoy or you like or you think is cool and then draw it here on the bottom. I hope you guys have a great day of learning and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.